Hey there, I got six great places to get money. Access to government money like grants. This is free money you don't have to pay back. If you've maxed out your credit cards or are struggling financially and just need some help, I know a lot of people in the comments and also emails I get have said that they're just looking for any kind of money right now because inflation is hurting. Like I went to an event and it cost $10 for a soda, $21 for a hot dog. Aren't hot dogs like 50 cents? They called it a fusion dog. I call it an expensive dog. I don't care what you call it. It still wasn't cheap. Are you struggling to make ends meet? Do you need help paying your utility bills, groceries, or even college tuition? Well, I got some good news. I got a lot of government programs that I'm going to cover here and tell you about through the federal government, state grants, and also loans that you can get free money. Now, it's important to note that these programs aren't exactly, all of them aren't exactly free money. Some are, as they're funded by taxpayers, ultimately. However, they can provide much needed relief for individuals or families families who are struggling financially, which I know a lot of people are right now. Some people are doing fantastic and that's great, but each program has its own set of qualification, many of which are based on income so they can support people who are having a tough time. So it's important to have the information ready when you apply, but once you meet the requirements, you can receive financial assistance and pay for a variety of expenses, relief programs, and now there's still plenty of government money way past the pandemic that you can still get that's still there. So in this video, we'll be exploring the different types of government grants and loans that are available for you as well as how to apply for them and if you meet them. Whether you're a student in need of tuition assistance, a homeowner looking for a down payment on a home, or simply someone who needs help with day-to-day -day expenses. There are many different grant programs and government programs that can help you. So stay tuned as I'm always trying to help you get access to money and provide a valuable resource to you. My name is Andrew Cartwright. Welcome to the channel. Please consider subscribing, like the video, share it with somebody. If you want, so if you just want to help somebody, share the video. It helps out a lot. And if you like the video, that helps with the YouTube algorithm and that's, that would give me a lot of love. I'm here to help you get money, leverage it, and invest it. I can relate to where you are. Believe it or not, I've been to the mountaintops and been wealthy four times, and I've been broke at the bottom four times. So literally, I can relate to anywhere you are in life, even been homeless once. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to help you get through whatever you're getting through. I created 32 companies to dig myself out of holes and in 17 different industries and started acquiring companies, 17 of them, which is what I'm doing right now with my audience in episode. 99 which is in the description down below we're buying companies 99 of them that are successful businesses that we're gonna buy from baby boomers if you have a business that you want to sell and you're tired you're done you're ready to cash out I'll give you a fair price for your business so make sure you email me in the description if you have your business for sale the people that come in in epic 99 you guys are getting 81% I'm getting 19% of the company I'll provide the capital we'll get it done if you have a business and you're looking for capital make sure you check the link down below for loans. I got 80 different lenders that you can pick from. Actually, we, we choose the best one for you, but you can get access to money there as well as grab your free stocks down there, 12 to 17 stocks. Just open up your account with as little as a penny and you can get some free stocks. That's free money right now. Don't miss out on that because it's incredible and there's no gimmick. They just want to see if you like their product and are interested in trading. Well, things have unprecedentedly been challenged by some of the events that happened after the fallout of the pandemic with people's finances. In response, the U.S. government issued stimulus checks to all eligible citizens citizens to help them cope with the economic impact of the pandemic. However, unlike stimulus checks they had issued automatically or automatically, other financial assistance required people to seek out and apply for them. You got to ask if you want to receive. They just didn't mail you a check. If you need help paying for utility bills or grocery expenses, there are programs that may help you. There's one, the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, L-I-H-E-A-P. It's a federal program that helps low-income households cover their heating and cooling costs. If you're having a tough time, reach out and grab that money. Each state sets its own eligibility requirements they get to pick, including what income levels, because states differ, and grants are issued via the State Department of Health and Human Services to help you get this money. So every state's different. Another program that offers assistance is called the Lifeline 
Lifeline program, which provides discount phone or internet services to eligible households. Are you paying a lot of money for your cell phone bill? What if you could just get that taken care of? To qualify, you must meet certain eligibility requirements. Additionally, the next thing we have is the SNAP program. I've covered this, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Make sure you apply for this to see if you need this extra money. If you need it, don't feel bad, just grab it. It's available to families who meet income requirements in their state. If approved, families receive benefit each month on electronic benefit transfer. Yep, that EBT card, which is awesome, which works like a debit card and has helped so many people. We've helped a lot of people on this channel just to even get access to that because no one should go without food. Now, childcare is another major expense for many families, right? You know, kids are expensive. According to the Economic Policy Institute, the annual cost for an infant, yep, care ranges just shy of $5,000 in Mississippi to over $22,600 in Washington, D.C. That's like half someone's pay or someone's whole pay. Well, to help ease the burden on low-income families, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Administration, the Child Care and Development Fund, has been set up, and the fund provides grants to states, territories, and tribes to distribute to their families and help pay for those expensive child care costs. The grants are income-based and usually cover care for children under 13. You can find the Child Care and Development Fund by contacting your state to see if you qualify. Make sure you don't miss out on this money. And you may also have unclaimed money waiting for you. I did videos on this before. About one in 10 Americans have unclaimed money. You'd be surprised. I would look everywhere that you've lived and check with the National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators. This money could be a long forgotten deposit from a utility bill, some lost savings, or just money they owe back to you for back rent or a deposit that you didn't pick up could be life insurance benefit maybe even life insurance someone else paid for or maybe even an uncashed paycheck lots of different things or rebates these unclaimed funds are turned over to the state and the owners of that particular money just sits there and it becomes a lot of times it comes from just clerical errors that you could have money sitting there to find out how to get unclaimed money watch my videos or go visit the unclaimed.org or the state of affiliated National Association of State Treasurers during 2020 fiscal year, more than 2.8 billion in previous unclaimed property was returned to its owners. People are becoming aware the average is about $1,600, an extra 1,600 bucks, right? It's important to note that these financial assistance programs, they do require you to seek them out. They're not gonna send you the money or they would have already. While it may take some time and a little effort on your part for these programs to qualify for, this financial assistance that they provide can be a significant difference, especially if it means that you might not be able to pay a bill. So don't hesitate to reach out and ask for this money. You know, just type it in. You never know. One of the biggest barriers to home ownership, obviously, is a down payment. Fortunately, there are several state-based down payment assistance programs offering grants right now, loans to help people with upfront costs for purchasing a home in Nevada. For instance, prospective homeowners who qualify for receiving the grants up to 5% of their home value can get it towards a down payment and their closing costs. Even individuals who don't meet the low income requirement may still be eligible for the assistance. So it doesn't mean you have to be low income. It's just incredible. So make sure you check these different programs out and also check to make sure that you can possibly get it in your state. Don't just look here in Nevada. It's all over the place. And if you're struggling to pay health care insurance, you may be eligible for a tax credit through the the government's health insurance marketplace. The premium tax credit can be directed towards your insurance provider. Lower monthly payments to help you get a discount on your health care. Individuals and families who buy medical coverage through healthcare.gov may qualify for a credit towards their insurance premiums as well. Doesn't hurt to ask. And paying for a college. Wow, this can be a significant financial burden, but college grants like the federal Pell Grant can make it easy for costs. Done videos on this too. Students who are eligible for Pell Grant can get $6,495 for 2022 to 2023. That's an incredible award. And the amount of awarded is based on factors, financial needs, the cost of attendance and enrollment status. We all know that it's expensive. All you got to do is go to Pell Grant, complete the free application for the student, federal student aid to help you with the application and 
get that money from the federal government. Other federal grants for college include Federal Supplement Educational Opportunity Grant, the Teacher Education Assistance for College and Higher Education Grant, and the Iraq and Afghanistan Service Grant. Not kidding. You can also look at scholarships using the U.S. Department of Labor scholarship search as well. While there are many ways to get financial assistance from governments, there are also grant scams, especially in the comment section, to try and get free money that's not really there. These scams are stealing money from people and using fake things to try and exploit you any way they can. So don't fall victim to that, especially when it comes to doing that. Be careful that you don't get fooled by these scams. The government rarely reaches out to any people to offer this money, especially for starting new businesses or covering personal expenses. And when it does, it never asks for your social security and your social media. And the goal of state federal programs is to get people and families in need on their feet and help with financial independence. So if you're struggling to achieve your financial goals, there are ways that you can get financial help from the government to get a leg up, a lift out of wherever you are, whether you need assistance, a down payment, home, health, insurance, college tuition, there are programs available for you. Stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, and I'll keep you updated. It's essential to do your research like I do and check the eligibility requirements to avoid grant scams as well. But taking advantage of these opportunities can be an important financial decision to help with your situation and work towards achieving your long-term goals, which is what I want to help you to accomplish. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Stay safe.